Turn the steering wheel and you hear a groaning sound. So the first thing you check is the power steering fluid. And as you can see, once I've taken the cap off, you can't even see fluid inside it's so low. Now if the fluid hadn't been low, it could be something like a bad pump or a bad rack. But it's low, so we know there's a leak. Now we gotta find it. So we jack the car up in the air and attack it from the bottom. And as we can see, the bottom of this hose is all wet. But it's the metal part that's wet, so the drip is actually coming from above. Because when power steering hoses leak, it's always the rubber part that leaks. In this case, the leak is coming from above that hose, so we'll look at it from the top. And as we look at it from the top, we can see these little vacuum hoses are covered with power steering fluid. They go into a switch. And that's the idle up switch. When you turn the power steering, that takes energy. So that switch opens up and lets more air go in the engine so it can idle faster to compensate for the power you lose when you use the power steering. So we'll pinch the vacuum lines off and take them off the switch. And now you can see the two lines here that they came off of, one here and one there. The switch is back here, there's a bolt that holds it in place. But you can only reach out from the bottom, so we crawl under the car. There's a the whole switch assembly right there. You can see how it's leaking like mad, we just have to get a wrench on that bolt and unscrew it. And here's the stupid little switch that was causing all the problem. The plastic part just swells up over time and starts to leak power steering fluid. Here's a new switch. Now realize the power steering pumps can put out 1600 PSI. So wrap a little Teflon tape around the thread so it doesn't leak when you get it in tight. There's not much working room so you can start it from the top where you can get the threads in the hole and spin it around a bunch of times. Then when it gets snug, climb under the bottom and tighten it up. You can get the wrench from the bottom and then get it nice and snug. Ugh. Then of course you hook the vacuum lines back up to the switch. Then of course fill it up with power steering fluid. I prefer the synthetic stuff because it works better all season. Then start her up. Turn the steering wheel lock to lock a few times with the car jacked up in the air for the front wheels. Then I'll get rid of all the air in the system. So the next time your power steering pump starts making noise, fix it yourself. And remember, if you've got any car questions, just visit the Scotty Kilmer channel. And I'll answer them as soon as I'm done drinking some of this moonshine. Mm -hmm.